This video was originally recorded live over on Daz Let's Plays. Come join us next time. Rightio, I think it's time we take on the boss of the Winterland. Or the secret spot, sure, if it wants to pop up first. Alright, scale puzzles. I can probably do them. So, bring that down, and everyone goes there. So then, I can go, oh yeah, right here. And hover up to it, and then throw all the others on the other one. That's my guess. And, oh, we do still need a few to actually hold it. Okay. If that's the case then, I will do the opposite. Until we have just five over there. Five over there? I'm not sure about that. No, we need it till there's five left on this side now. That was a delayed reaction. But oh well, it got it through anyway. Hey, those scales haven't been adjusted. They should be going down right now. There we go. Nice. And done. Pretty much. Alrighty, and now to 7-E, finally. Also want to note about mods. Yes, Shadow White and Pick Flower Dude, you may become mods in the future, but for now, I think we're good with three because it's kind of a small channel I am right now and there's not a lot of people in the live stream, but when it gets bigger and we have more and more people, you two may become mods. Woo! Right. <clears throat> anyway, let's go to the, the dramatic music-y part. No more extra context. Oh, gosh. A giant one of these. This is some intense music! This is an evil slurker, but it kind of looks like that Pokemon. Lilip? Lilip? Something like that. Alright, fine. So, last time it was attached to the tongue. Yeah. Still attack the tongue. Cool. Oh, and then it comes down. Beautiful. Grab it, hold on! Alright, buddy. Come along. Alright, now you. Ooh, you have icicles now? Run, Olimar! Run as fast as your little feeties go! Alright, we're dead. Wow. Wow, okay, I timed that completely wrong. Whoops! Seven in a go. Two bounces first, then you can- whoops! If you're gonna go on that side of me, that's fine. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go! This is some really intense and slightly goofy music. Oh, yeah. You're the one causing the winter then? If you've got all this ice powers. This isn't crystal anymore, this is ice. Here we- nope. That was a fake out. Now you're icy. Nope, now you're not icy. You have like- you- you- you bloom out ice. Is that supposed to be an indication that you're actually using a tongue? Who knows? Hold on, hold on, hold on! It's like sucking something through its tongue. Is it sucking in water? It's sucking in water to freeze it. Okay, so. One. Two. Maybe we can dodge this third one. Oh, there we go. Right, so let's see. Uh, you got icy things now. Oh, your, your thing's just always blooming ice. But that's wrong. That's a fake out. That's a second. That's a fake out. That's a... Okay. Triple fake out. That's just your own separate attack. Oh, whoa. Oh, you're making the water go down as well. You're making like the... Because we're on a floating plank. Oh my gosh, you are getting a little... Big headed. Wow, good. That was a good shot. I didn't really have a chance to dodge that. Oh, and it goes down as you put the water, as you put the ice in, because like you're putting the water back in, basically. Whoops, that's attacks. I mean, to be fair, I threw that at the thing, so it wasn't like the um, whatever. Okay. Latch on, you half Pikmin army, army, army. There we go. And a whole circuit board in you. That makes something so square, you suddenly looked squishy and blobbly. Nice!
Uh, Captain Anima! I sent some spark in the park. Let's check it out. Cool. First of all, what is this slurker dude? Oh, wow. There's only three more bosses. So I guess two more sectors and then the final sector? Maybe. Uh, the Chrysiora Langus, the Umbloda family. This floating creature makes it home in humid climates. It attacks by lashing its sticky tongue at its prey from its gelatinous body. Once it sticks, the tongue can drain the heat from a target. It's this property of its tongue that lets it turn the lake water into ice to drop as an attack. Hmm, all this talk of tongues and ice. I'm getting thirsty. Don't say that, I've been holding off on drinking blackcurrant, man. I mean, I'm trying to make it so I only drink two pints in a livestream rather than three, because three makes me die to pee and then I need to take a break halfway through. I'm making many electronic- oh, beneficial intelligence. I may, I'm finding many electronic parts on this planet. When analyzing this one, the SS Dolphin 2's demeanor was actually more pleasant than usual. Then I realized the ship wasn't talking to me at all. It was conversing with this object, which seems to have had a good, very good effect on the SS Dolphin 2. It's usually so disagreeable. Hmm. And what's in the Pikmin Park? Boom, boom. An anima! Spark me am! Uh, we just had blues, but we saw the reds earlier, so let's give the reds. Yay! Ooh. Boom, boom, boom. Wonder if there's alternate endings for whether you. Oh well. Oh well. Um, new Spark Game readings incoming! This new sector will probably be the last one we can explore! Oh! Okay! There's three bosses in this one? Or is there a boss in this sector? A boss for getting all the treasure and then the final boss? I left it for last because it's riddled with poison. Watch your step, Captain Onima. Let me guess, there's no white still, is there? Sector eight, Lush Life Merc. And we still have an hour and 45 minutes of gameplay. Or like live stream. So, uh, we might be finishing this game. Can I do it in less than two hours? Sure. Okay. So, this is the area we first saw in the trailers, right? This is where you can find like the big enemies that looked like the um, dragonfly enemies whose name I've forgotten now. Nectarous dandelflies. Because you got all the spider webs in the background. That's a little weird, don't you think? Like, this is like the first area we saw. I've messed up, haven't I? I've been too faithful. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, right, yes, wing Pikmin make me fly. I forgot about that. Is this gonna fall down because of our weight? No, it's not, okay. But it's not enough that I can carry it. Right. right, I'm learning again. Sorry. S excuse me. <clears throat> they don't suffer from our weight, these guys, which is nice. Bye -bye. The enemies, the boss is a, is a, is a dweevil. Are we going to be fighting a, a dweevil? A poison dweevil? Maybe just a dweevil? I don't what the poison ones are called. I don't know the names of the types of dweevils, I'm afraid. afraid. I'm not even sure if Fiery Dweevil's the right one. All I know is Volatile Dweevil, because that's the explosive one. It kills itself all the time. It takes you with it. This music is really ominous. No? Triumphant? I can't tell. Is it like beauty in nature, or is it like scary? I can't tell. Literally. Right. I will take you. Because you were all just readily available. There we go. Oh, well. That was me trying to hit the jetpack button. Uh, that's a floor with a good... Like, just... I shouldn't be able to touch below the button. Even if the button doesn't show to be below the bottom of the screen, it should make it so that the hitbox covers the bottom of the screen, because I don't need to have pinpoint accuracy in a game where you have to throw for pinpoint accuracy to just press another button, you know? I kind of feel like I need a- I need a- There it is again! Wow, these wing Pikmin have too much of a range. <sighs> I- Nah, I need a bigger hitbox is what I need. Maybe I need a setting change. Munged Weevil. That's what it's called. That sounds right. The yeah, poison. This is cool. Listen to this. It says as there's no sound anymore. Cynthia. 
I didn't think a Pikmin game would be synthy, but there it is. Huh. Gosh, I need to get the soundtrack. I hope someone's actually uploaded the playlist. The soundtrack. Nintendo never wants to sell theirs on CDs or vinyls or any kind of music device. If they did, take my money. But no. We're gonna make it so you can't listen to the music and we'll copyright it if you use it on YouTube. Wow. Bring Pikmin after you saved your life there, Ronald. You better be thankful. Okay. Where are we now? This where we were left off? I don't know if that's right. Have we been through here? Am I being dumb? I think I am, yeah. It looks like that's the same place. It's not the same music at least. Yeah, I never realized I like synth music so much. But like, it works here. I don't know. To be fair, I do listen to a nice variety of music because I just listen to video game music for the most part. So like, that comes with its variety. But synth? I never knew about. I recently, um, I'm not sure, I might, have, I might have mentioned this already somewhere. I feel like I have. But I recently uh, discovered the soundtrack to um, Crypt of the Necro Dancer. The whole concept is you're a necromancer, but it's all rhythm based and musical. I haven't actually played the game, and I've seen maybe five seconds of gameplay from when I was looking at what the game looked like. And it's very, like, it's pixel arty, I think, and, like, quite. Not minimalistic, but it's not, you know, 3D by any means. It's like a 2D pixely kind of game, so I wasn't crazy into it, but the music is fantastic. And every music song has like a title, but generally it was like, it was just this nice like, I wasn't sure if I'd call it disco, but it's, you know, like rhythmy musical fun. I enjoyed it a lot. All right, can we be saved? I would like to be saved. Because that, that plant gave me a bit of a trouble. Please go lower. Are you gonna go lower? You're not gonna go lower. I can glitch through you. What is this? Physics! That's just rude! What was I supposed to do? I don't get what I was supposed to do there. Whatever. I'll accept that I've lost way too many Pikmin. Two from buttons. So whatever. Whatever, man. I guess I was supposed to go to the back one, but I couldn't because I'd already fallen down. Okay. Next time it go the the thing starts growing, I'll go to the back one instead. There we go. Thank you. Does it only grow when I'm there or something? Like that's rude. Okay. Okay. Two more wing, cause you know I need it. Out of here. Out of here. I think I'll take these guys. Those, those guys are going to be a hassle, so I guess i got to... Yeah, okay, so I couldn't be on the back ones for that guy. Okay. Balancing between two little dragonfly enemies. Now I'm going to go to the back one, because that front one was too was safe for too long. Alright. Alright, yeah, look at that. See, I knew it. I knew it. <clears throat> and then fly on down to this guy, and I guess i got to catch those guys later. Wait for the next guys? Right, star beaten jewel, thank you. Guess I gotta wait for the next ones. Like a bus. Yeah, there it is. Ugh, nice. So it's weird being on the top full thing entirely with the wing pikmin, because like, we're gonna die. Because it's like, I can't touch anywhere that's not down. You know, this is the top of the screen I'm still throwing down. Right. Oh, this was, well, I'm not sure if I'd say nice and easy, but it was nice and simple for the most part. Thank you. Another river game you recommend is Thumper. I'll, uh, I'll give a look. Um, it's on the PC and PS4. Don't have a PS4. Do have a PC, so maybe. Who knows? Bing. Nope, no bings over here. No bings. Heard nothing. Something I keep seeing repeated in um, comments on like the actual bite size version says definitely purple and white coloring in the onion. That's really sort of wrestling people like it's messing people up because it's like there's white the, the Pokemon are there and they're just not being used. <laughs> oh well, I don't know how they'd work it out. Well, no, I guess you could work it in a 2D game. Like if you had more scaling puzzles, that would work for the purples. Not sure about the speed and the slowness, that wouldn't really work in a 2D game, and the, the whites have poison, so I don't know, whatever. Nintendo really doesn't like what they've created sometimes. Anyway, this thing, the Kilopoda Sakurini. Sakur Sakurani. 
the Centipar family. It craves attention and control, as children do. Its back is tough enough to hold some weight without panicking. Is this the boss? Is this supposed to be the boss? This is a, a, a small version of the boss. I envy it as far as that goes. The last time I tried to give my son a ride, I threw my back out. <laughs> and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> the flauntulent bauble. Its yellow sheen screams quality, or at least expensive. Someone definitely spent a lot of money on this ship art. Putting this on the SS Dolphin 2 will make it extremely classy. Even sitting in the most brilliant ship in space won't make it run better. Or make me more more skilled pilot. What's good what's on the inside counts more than good looks. I always wear fresh undies. Okay. And the star beaten jewel. Might be another one after that, actually. We believe that this was beaten into its unique shape by a meteor shower. Come to think of it, meteor showers are the reason I crash landed here to find it. Maybe that's what they men mean about destiny being in the stars. More literal than I had always imagined. But I can't deny that they're sh that can't deny they've shaped both this object and my life in unexpected ways. Yeah, no, we, don't, we already know this one. Um, for a minute I thought I saw a treasure that still had the new marking on it. Oh, uh, I think I was looking at the, the uh, this toy train here. It looks kind of like it says new, like the colouring. I don't know. We're fine. And there's nothing in the Pickland Park, so let's go. 